welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Sublime Sims, also known as Soft Girl Gaming on TikTok, and I'm back with another episode of Jasmine's Story. As you can see in the beginning, in the intro, Miles did get married to Claire. It has been a few months in game since last episode, and they had already secretly gotten engaged because Claire gave Miles an ultimatum saying that either she needed to be married to him or she was going to leave. She did have a little bit of a fear that he was going to do the same thing to her that he did to Jasmine, especially with them already having a child together. So he reluctantly agreed, but they did go on to get married and had a wedding with their family and friends. Jasmine obviously knows about the wedding since her daughter went, and although she is not really hung up on Miles romantically, she is kind of mourning the idea of having like a traditional family. This was kind of the nail in the coffin that they are never going to get back together because he's already moved on and gotten married. And then of course she is in her new relationship with her own boyfriend. So I feel like she's just going through a little bit of a rough time um, with this huge shift in their family. And again, just kind of putting that chapter to rest. So she's kind of been spending her weekend just doing things that she enjoys and then Angel has a special trip planned while Jade is staying in the city with her dad and Claire. Let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. Right now I just have Jasmine starting a new book. If you're new and haven't seen the other episodes, she is a writer and she's pretty high up in her career. She's actually going to be due for a promotion pretty soon. Um, let me just double check. Okay, so she's already met the requirements. She's at level nine, so she's about to max out her career very soon. So while she's doing this, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys the agenda for the day. I want to have her go to work today just because she is so close to a promotion, and I'm hoping that she'll get it, fingers crossed. So my plan is for her to do that. We're going to have Angel come over after work, and he's going to stay the night here then tomorrow they're going to leave and head off on their vacation because if you can see it's Wednesday in the game and I normally have Jade come back on Sundays so that it's like she's been gone for a full week with her dad. They're splitting the time 50-50. So that is the plan for today. So she's just going to kind of take it easy, get some work done, and then she'll have kind of like a little at-home date, I think, with Angel later. Jasmine just finished her book, so we are mailing it off so she can get her royalties. It looks like she actually just got royalties, and y'all can see just how many books she's written, and she is getting a lot of money for these. She only has, I think, about two hours before she needs to go to work. I think I want to have her take Chai for a walk. Oh, look at Chai. He's all ready to go on his walk. They are so cute. I think it is so fitting that she finally got a little dog. And I think he fits in really well with Jade, too. Like, I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about when people say that their pets look like the owners, but I kind of get that vibe with these two. Okay, y'all, she is officially promoted to the top of her career. It's called Creator of Worlds. She'll now make 655 Somalians an hour. She also got a bonus of 2,885 Somalians and unlocked the door of perception. Now, as exciting as it is that she just got this promotion, she is definitely due for a vacation. She works really hard, and she works in her off time, too, just writing additional books. So I feel like her trip is coming at just the right time with her and Angel. It's a little while later, and Angel has finally made it over. So I just have Jasmine making some dinner for them. They've both just changed into their comfy clothes because they're going to be staying in for the night. Jasmine's prepping some butter chicken, but it sounds like someone's calling. Um, not really sure how he's calling to go on a date when they are literally across from each other, but we're just going to decline because she's already cooking. I also did have 
Angel bring his dog this time. So we have Bruno here and he is so cute. I feel like Angel's talking to her about her day, like asking how is she feeling after the wedding because he definitely has noticed that she was feeling a little down and he's hoping that their little getaway will cheer her up. But the promotion definitely helped boost her mood. She looks like she's really happy right now. She's got, got the promotion, central heating. I guess that's a good thing to be happy about. Decorated and how fresh because she got an upgraded fridge. Okay, look at them flirting. Y'all, I love them together. And I love the fact that they've already known each other for a long time. Like before acting on it. Oh, it looks like we had a gift. And it also looks like Chai needs a bath. Okay, so she found one fossilized egg. We'll give Chai a bath after they have some dinner. Looks like the food is ready. It's the next day and Jasmine and Angel have finally made it on their vacation. They just checked into their rental and they're just having some lunch and watching the season premiere. They are vacationing in Windenburg, if you couldn't tell after seeing their house. So I'm just going to let you know what is on the agenda for them while they're here and they're watching this premiere. I plan on having them take some time to go ice skating. I have also placed um, like a market, so I wanted them to go check that out. And then of course they're going to do a dinner date at one of the local restaurants. But I really just want this to be like a time for them to bond. And again, she is kind of going through a shift in her life. So I just think this is a good way to cheer her up and also hopefully get her and Angel to be even closer than they already are. I also do want to touch on one other thing before I get back into more gameplay. I think in the upcoming episodes, I really want Angel to spend some time with Jade because I do think Jasmine is kind of ready to take the next step with him, but she wants to make sure that this dynamic is going to work not just for her, but also for her daughter. So you can expect to see more of them kind of hanging out as a family, I guess we can call it. Um, in the upcoming episode. Jasmine and Angel made it over to the ice skating rink. I'll be sure to also have this build in the description, but let's get a closer look at them. I even gave Jasmine her own little like ice skating outfit. She has really high um, like athletic skill, so I'm actually kind of surprised that she is not doing better, but I think it's because she's only ice skated like a few times. Also, the mannequins are literally killing me, but it's fine. We're going to let it be for now. Where's Angel? Okay, Angel's not doing much better than Jasmine, but, you know, at least he's trying. Okay, when they finish with that, I do want to have them come over and order some... Well, I guess they don't eat food since they just have pizza. Let's just do drinks. Jasmine is going to do a cappuccino. And then I think for Angel, we'll do... Let's just do a macchiato. <laughs> All right, they're sitting down with their coffee. Only Jasmine was able to get hers for some reason. But I have them having a deep conversation, and I feel like Angel would be kind of asking her, like, how does she feel about their relationship? Does she want to take the next step, or does she want to, you know, date for longer? Also, why is this random county interrupting their private conversation? Why are they like this? Okay, he just did a deep conversation. I could have sworn there was a question where you can ask about marriage or talk about marriage. 
but now I don't see it. So we're just going to tell her how much um, he admires her. Aw, this is so cute. And I love both of their looks right now. All right, I want to let them finish up their drinks. I think before they leave the venue, I want them to get a couple of pictures in front of the building because how cute is this? It's a couple of hours later, so it's time for Jasmine and Angel to grab some dinner together. I will also have this slot in the description, but can we just talk about how pretty this is? And like the area around it is so nice. I really feel like Windenburg is so underrated. Like I rarely hear people talking about it being one of their favorites, but this is so nice. Okay, let's see what they're up to inside. All right, it looks like they just got their table. I love the little roses as the centerpiece. And I think this um, restaurant has a flirty vibe, so they should have all good interactions. All right, their food is ordered, so I'm just going to have them socialize a little bit while they're waiting. They're feeling flirty, so I think let's just keep the vibes going. I want to have him blow a kiss and then maybe let... We're not going to do a pose while we're at the dinner table. We're going to express fondness once the server leaves. Y'all, I just, I love them together. He wasn't originally someone that I thought she would end up being with, but now that they are, I feel like they're such a good fit. Jazz is acting like, just wait till we get home. Just wait till we get back to the Airbnb. Um, I want to have him... Let's ask her a risque question. Jasmine, where are you going? Why? Okay. I finally got Jasmine to sit back down, and it looks like it was in good timing because now their food is here. I ordered Jasmine the sizzling brisket, and then Angel has the rack of lamb. So I want to have Jasmine take a picture of her food because, you know, memories. Like, did you even travel if you don't take pictures of everything? I didn't know that that helps their gourmet cooking skill. Hey, Bob. Let's ask him how the food is. Oh, can we not ask him yet? Um, okay, well, never mind. Let's have a deep conversation. <laughs> it's the next morning and clearly Jasmine and Angel had a pretty good night last night. Jasmine's up bright and early. Um, it's only 5 a.m. and she's going to get up and start her morning routine. I want her to get a workout in um, before Angel wakes up. If you guys remember, she was a college athlete, so she is really big on fitness. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but her muscles are even more defined now. I feel like this girl has like no body fat whatsoever. So I have her doing this. She's about to go make um, some tea for them because I always forget about the kettle from the for rent pack, but I think it's so cute, y'all. Oh, why is she acting like that? Is she sick? Okay, I think we have to wait for it to be ready. So maybe I could just have her do a workout at home. Hopefully she's got plenty of room. We'll do the power sculpting video. Like, look at her muscles. I think she's more muscular than um, Angel. Okay, perfect. She's got room. Like, I need to get like her because I can't stand to work out. 
And Sims make it look so easy. Angel and Jasmine are both getting their tea. This is just such a cute little addition to this kitchen. I'm going to have them sit together so they can like, I don't know, have a little morning recap. Jasmine's probably like, so what did you think about last night? Because they're still flirty. I think I want to keep the flirty vibes going. Once they finish having their tea, I'm going to have them embrace. And then they're both hungry, and I realized I totally forgot to add a fridge to this kitchen. Don't ask me how I did that. So I think what I want to do is um, have them come down. It's somewhere over here. Yeah, there's like a little food stand. I think I'll just have them come pick up pastries for breakfast. They are so cute. Oh, wait, is he not in his... Oh, he's not in his cold weather outfit. And I don't think there's a thermostat in this house. Okay, let's get him in something warm. I don't need anybody unaliving on this trip. I really like this outfit with the long coat, so I think that's what I want him to wear today. And then I want to see, Jasmine did bring her bike, so I kind of want to see if they can ride together down here. Or if only she can. Oh, they can. Okay, well, he's just running, so I guess he doesn't have a bike. Nonetheless, Jasmine's got her bike, and how cute is this, y'all? It just started snowing. I'm so glad they took this trip. I feel like they don't get a ton of alone time together between both of them having busy schedules. Jasmine obviously has her daughter, which kind of complicates things. So I feel like they just don't get a ton of privacy. Okay, I think I want Jasmine to order... Why are none of these things like breakfast foods? We're just going to go with a pretzel because I feel like that's the closest. Oh, look at Angel. Oh, not drink. Okay, Angel also needs to order some food. We'll get him a cookie because I'm sure they're going to eat something like heavier later. Oh, her mom is calling her. Y'all. Why are they thinking about trying for a baby? Jasmine is an adult. Her younger sister is a young adult. And then her younger brother is a teen. I really don't think this is the time. Like, I feel like they should just enjoy all of their kids being grown. I'm going to say no. I think it would be weird for her parents to have a child younger than her daughter. Thanks for giving me a reality check. Like, yeah, I love you, but uh, no. Okay, let's have Angel come sit down too. While they're eating, I do kind of want to touch on one other thing I thought about the other day. Like, at first my plan was to have Jasmine and Angel, like, get married at some point. But the more I've thought about it, like... Maybe I either A, won't have them get married, or B, just like not for a while, because I think with everything that happened with Miles, like Jasmine is not super set on like getting married by any specific point. I feel like she is more concerned with just having, you know, like a healthy relationship over everything else. So I don't know, maybe like don't expect kind of like the traditional timeline with them because I'm thinking about switching it up. They both finished eating and made it back to the house. I have them playing this game together. I constantly forget that this even exists and I need to start using it more. But I have them playing this together. I think Jasmine also might be due to pay. Yeah, she does need to pay her bills. And she also just got more royalties in. She made like over three grand in from her royalties. And then I think when they get back, oh, magic explosion. 
I think when she gets back, she does have work tomorrow. They're going to be leaving later on this evening because Angel didn't have enough vacation days to do like a full trip. But I feel, sorry, I feel like this was still worth them going even if it was just for a little bit. So Jasmine and Angel have returned from vacation and clearly there is a big change going on. Jasmine is pregnant, which should not be surprising after all of the times they woohooed on this trip, but it was still a shock to them. This wasn't planned for them. And this isn't Jasmine's first time going through this either. But I do think in this situation, the good news is they're in a really healthy place. Angel is not a cheater. Like, even though he was caught off guard, he is really excited to be starting a family with Jasmine. And it's also making him even more, like, excited and intent on building a better relationship with Jade. They don't have any issues, but they're just not as close as he would like. After talking, they have also decided that they should move in together because he was already going to ask her anyway. And this house is not big enough for another baby. So they are going to be house hunting and looking for a new place. Um, they both don't want each other to move into their place so that they're kind of starting fresh together. So in the next episode, you can expect to see them most likely either in a new house already or showing a few different options. Jade is going to be back because she's coming home later this weekend and he is going to be moving in. So Angel is going to be a pretty permanent fixture for the rest of this season and series. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I am having a lot of fun with it. And if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll have another episode out for you guys soon.